Hi, so I'm going to show you how to use uh, the latest NRI54 L15DK with the Blicken device SDK. So we'll walk you through how to pull in the code, compile it and flash it to the board and hopefully run uh, Blicken Hello World example. So what you need is obviously the NRI54 L15DK, but also VS Code with the NRF Connect VS Code extensions. Uh, so let's start with that. And what we'll do is we'll do create a new application. And you can see that among the options, you have that browse NRF Connect SDK add-on index. And the Blicken device SDK is a part of that. So let's select it. And we'll want the latest release, which is V201, uh, which is compatible with the latest NRF Connect SDK release. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll want to create a new workspace for this. So I've just set that up. And now the NRF Connect VS Code extension is basically uh, setting it up in the background. So uh, downloading the SDK and then from the West manifest, uh, setting up the whole Zephyr workspace. So I'll take a little bit of time. And once that's done, we'll be able to use the application. Okay. So it's like done now uh, so what we can do is basically open that new workspace uh, hopefully we can trust the this application let me close those and uh, so if you uh, see here in the tree uh, in the so folder tree structure uh, this is the Blicken Devices SDK basically, and we've, we've got a list of Zephyr examples and the one uh, which we're interested in today is the Hello World example, which is the most basic example, which shows how to send data to the Blicken network and get it back uh, and display what we're receiving back from the infrastructure. Uh, so let's try and compile it and run it on that 54L15 board. Um, so to do that, uh, we'll need to create a new application here. And we can see the list of options we have. And the one we want is the Hello World option, the Hello, Hello World application. Um, and uh, once we've selected the, the application, we'll want to create a build configuration for it. And what that means is that we'll want to select the specific board that we're interested in, which is the NR54L15DK. And you can see there are like different flavors of that board. And the one we want is the CPU app uh, flavor, which is basically targeting the, the main application core in the NR54L15. Uh, everything else we can leave as default. Uh, so let's generate the build configuration. And you can see that um, not only the build configuration is being generated, but the NRF Connect SDK is also uh, creating the, the or starting the build process, uh, which will give us, give us the assets we need to flash onto the, 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 the Nordic DK. So that's running and they're compiling basically all dependencies uh, in the background. And you can see that it didn't take too long uh, and we've got the uh, a first build. Uh, and what we can do now is try and flash it. So let's do that. And you can see that it's not being programmed onto my board. And what I'll do as well is open a serial terminal. And you can see here, I've got the option to open a serial terminal, which is provided by the, the NRF extension. And you can see you have two serial ports on that uh, DK and I'll select the second one and leave it uh, with the default configuration. So let me reset the board and you can see it's just booted up and that's kind of what we're expecting. Uh, we have uh, a unique 
ID for that Blinken device. So let's look at, at what happened here. Uh, if we go back to the application source code, so that main.c file. First, the Blinken stack is being initialized. And then we set up that request that we want to send once the device gets a connection to the Blinken infrastructure. So the request has like different parameters and those basically are here to point that request to a Nico server uh, so that uh, everything we send to it will be sent back in return. So once that request is sort of configured, the uh, connection is initiated, which means that any hotspots around that device will be able to connect to it and then provide it with network connectivity. Um, there is an event which happens once that connection has been set up and you can see that it's within this callback and that's when the request is sent and you can see that basically the hello bleaking string is what's sent to the uh, echo server. There's another interesting event here is that on the data received callback, uh, which is triggered when data is received back from the infrastructure. And we basically just display, uh, display the content of uh, that data chunk. All right, so now that we've gone through what's uh, happening in that program, let's uh, go back to our serial terminal and reset the board and we'll see that in action. So here we go. Here you go. You can see that the uh, the device has uh, booted up again. The device is being displayed, and then a connection has happened. So uh, the data was sent and received back, and that's the hello bleaking message uh, here that we're expecting uh, to receive back from the echo service. 